Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. I am so choked and also so excited. I'm choked because we're at the end of season three. Can't believe it. Shortest season of all time. There needs to be a rule against this, so I'm really sad. But I'm also excited because Hinata is taking a swing for the match against Shira Torizawa. And I want to be convinced that it's going to land. I want to, I want him to prove the Crypt Keeper wrong. I want, you know, Karasuno to win, obviously, and go to nationals. There's like, you know, so many things going on here. So I'm like, it's a balancing act here. Sad, excited, I don't know. This episode hasn't even started and I have conflicting emotions. What I am pretty sure of though, is that I will probably be crying at some point in this episode. So, um, nothing new. I'm also sad that Ukai's voice actor changed last episode. It's just not the same. I miss his raspy smoker's voice. <sighs> it's gonna be an adjustment and I have not adjusted yet. I don't like change. Um, so that was just an aside, but today the title of episode 10 is the battle of concepts. So uh, I don't want that to mean that the game is going to keep going. I just want it to end with this swing, but we will see. So today we are taking on season three, episode 10 of Haikyuu, as I said, the battle of concepts. Before we start, I just wanna give a huge shout out to all my channel members, Sarah's Love House. We started the membership program at the beginning of season three and you guys have been amazing. It's been so fun, you know, sharing behind the scenes of my life with you and getting to know you guys a little more. So yeah, before we started, I just wanted to give you guys a huge shout out because you've been wonderful in supporting me and our channel. So without further ado, the season finale of IQ season three. It was beautiful, but it was short. The battle of concepts, here we go. I said I wasn't going to change, but that Hikai Are song, which was the slowest way I could have ever said that, it did grow on me, okay? Wasn't a huge fan at the beginning of the season, but yeah, I'm, I'm about it now. Just in time for them to change it probably, but I wanted to let you know I like it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Goosebumps. Okay. You can do it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Can 
No! Are you kidding? Come on. He not a get hit by Yes! Yes, Tanaka! Look at that sweat steam. Come on. Yes. Perfect time for it. Again, is it going out? Oh, Tanaka, yes. Keep swinging, keep going, keep going. Oh my gosh. Are they gonna set him again? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. No, oh, come on.
Oh my gosh. Oh, good one. That rally was very good. <laughs> Didn't end as quickly as I wanted. I had to add a little drama, obviously. Loved that Suki was setting him up for the whole match to be able to take away the line swing at the very last point. Excellent work by Ushijima to hammer the sharp angle in that moment. Incredible dig. I know I think I said Kageyama, it might've been Daichi. No, Daichi got the second touch. Great dig by Kageyama. Nice heads up play. Every single person on the court played a role in that rally. Um, Love that Hinata got hit by the ball, wouldn't expect any less. He got it up, which is all we can ask. Um, but every single person on Karasuno touched the ball in that rally, made a solid play. Um, you know, Suki's decision to close the line, he got a great touch. Um, Kageyama's dig on this sharp angle swing, Amazing. Daichi got the dove and got the ball up. Um, Tanaka covered after Hinata got hit by the ball. Uh, Asahi made a great swing to keep the ball alive. And then Hinata with the final kill and he got the ball that he got hit by. <sighs> that was so amazing. It was like the visual of Ushijima like pushing everybody down. It was like one big Ushijima pushing down the whole team and then every single one of them lifting together. Like that imagery was beautiful. And I don't care what you guys say about, oh, individual versus numbers. It's not Ushijima versus Karasuno. That image right there just proved that that was the whole concept. Okay, I'm sorry. If it was Tendo against Karasuno, if it was whatever, Goshiki against Karasuno, it wouldn't, it would have been each one of them pushing down. No, it was Ushijima pushing down alone against all of Karasuno. So for all of you who don't agree with me, that is fine, but I'm choosing to see it that way. <sighs> I had to let it play. I could not stop. I had to let it run through. <sighs> Yes. Yes. They did it. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh. He played a really great game. ストレート
<laughs> I feel the same way. If somebody beats me and I'm not in the medal ceremony, get me out of there immediately. I think it's awesome that they went to watch. Like, kudos to them, but like, get out of there. But I love, I know I've often criticized Oikawa's commentary. Um, loved it in this instance and he is very observant um, he understands the game very well um, and uh, just like the subtle things that the leaders on the Karasuno team did to put themselves in the best position possible is just like so amazing and so inspiring and like uh, it's just subtle stuff but like it makes a huge difference. I'm just like, oh, oh my God. Oh my god, the victory charm she gave him! Ah! Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. You can even see it in like how how the coaches interact with them and the messaging that they're getting. Like those Shira Torizawa guys are crushed and like they're a really strong team and they gave them maximal effort and they came up like it was as close as it could possibly be and like no empathy or compassion or anything. It's just like get on the bus, you're gonna go serve. Like, that breaks my heart. Cause it just like makes, it like points fingers and creates blame and just like makes them feel like they're not good enough and they are. And then you see Ukai, who is just like, and Takeda who are trying, who are choosing to see the good things that their team did and to like, give positive reinforcement for those behaviors and granted they won i get that and it's easy to be happy and nice when you win but i truly believe that the sheer tours out coach would not be different because it's like the expectation and he would just like brush aside the win like it was nothing like i don't think he would have given compliments regardless and so 
You know, I agree with Ukai. I really, I said it last episode, like whatever, if Karasuno wins, like Suki is the MVP for me. Like his analysis of the game, the way he chose to like exploit certain tendencies at certain times, like he was the backbone of Karasuno's defense and he slowed down all of the Shira Torizawa hitters. Like I really agree that he is the MVP. Um, but it was like such a team effort and everybody played a role and I'm just like so happy I could like barf. だろうか。それでもいいだかった。人の原動力って大概幼稚なんでないの。いいストレートだったよ。新しい若年君に至って感じ。俺はここでバレーやめるけどさ、活躍してる若年君をテレビで見ながら、俺は牛島の孫たち
コアドのキッチンは春の高校バレー全日本バレーボール高等学校選手権大会宮城県代表決定戦において当初の成績を収めたのでその健闘をたたえてこれを表彰しますおめでとう両校の健闘をたたえまた1月に東京体育館で行われる春の高校バレー全国大会でのカラスの高校の活躍を祈って会場の皆様今一度大きな拍手をお願いいたします I'm so proud of them Oh, yes. New manager? Baby. Okay, Ken was gonna get his wish. They're gonna play each other in a match that can't be repeated. Um, maybe if they qualify. But like, it's so cute. The whole school is getting behind them now, and like everyone's so excited. Hinata gets his dream of playing in the Tokyo Gymnasium, as we saw in season one, episode one, where the little giant was playing. So he gets to live out his dream of playing in that stadium. And uh, I love it that like his classmates thought that he is like the water boy. He, yeah, I can tell. 
I can understand that the ego was bruised a little bit from that. Um, but even Yachi like making a poster to like let everybody know, like so cute. Um, this is gonna be, I wonder if we're gonna meet any new teams in the spring tournament nationals. Um, obviously I'm hoping Nakoma will be there, Fukurodani. Um, obviously Karasuno is going to be there. We have to meet some new ones, so this is very exciting stuff. And we get to see Nakoma, probably Nakoma and Fukuro Dani in a real match instead of just a training camp or a training match. So <laughs> very excited because we all know how much I love Kuro. Um, okay. Okay, just watch the ending credits because, you know, doing some intel, doing some research. Um, so cute that everybody is fundraising for the team. Um, the neighborhood association guy that taught Yamaguchi to serve is collecting in his shop. Um, Psycho is collecting at her restaurant that she works at. Um, that poster that Yachi made is also to let people know about money. So I think that that is so amazing that the whole community is rallying around Karasuno going to nationals. Um, also, it looks like we did get a little preview of the teams that will be at Nationals. Can't remember all of their names, but Fukuro, Dani, and Nakoma were there, so loving that. And it looks like we have a little end credit extra, so let's check it out. Oh gosh, he's going to be the highest. They're going to have to keep jumping. Kakiyama. Oh my gosh, I'm crying again. <laughs> I just got full body chills, goosebumps all over my arms and legs. I'm crying again, like, oh my gosh, that is so amazing. I think Hinata's gonna be really jealous um, and probably not okay that he didn't get selected too. Honestly, he's just not ready yet. He's not at that level, but Kageyama, for him to get recognized like that, especially after middle school where the schools just like didn't want him because of his attitude and things like that, for him to then be selected for the national, the youth national team is like, uh, he's made so many improvements and he's grown so much as a teammate. Like he really, I'm really, really proud of him and he deserves it a hundred percent. So I'm so excited. And I love the jump touching competition. It's so amazing. Like he's very athletic, 337, not bad, especially for a high school kid. Um, 
So, you guys, I can't believe season three is done. I'm like so upset. But that ending was epic and I'm so, so glad that we got to see an entire season in one mat for one match. It was beautiful and so amazing. I didn't get as much backstory on Shira Torizawa as I really wanted. I'm not gonna lie to you, I wanted more. So that is probably my only disappointment with the season. Um, otherwise, look at my smile. I cried so many tears. I smiled so big. Like I had so many emotions throughout this season and too many goosebumps to count. So I am just overjoyed at this. Um, yeah, just, I'm so proud of them. I can't wait to see what they do at nationals. Like I can't even control my voice cause I'm so happy, but um, season three has been a blast, you guys. Thank you for watching it with me. Um, comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And as always, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to keep checking back because season four is coming and I want to watch it with you. Love you guys. Season three is a blast. I'm sad it's over. But we're on to bigger and better things. Bye.